Hey guys, this is Laser here, and today is going to be my first 3ds Max tutorial. So first we're going to open up 3ds Max, and today we're going to be learning how to create, um, uh, we're going to be learning how to create text explosion or basically anything exploding. So first we're just going to draw a plane out here, um, it doesn't really have to be even, I don't really, it doesn't really matter, I'm just going to do a white. And I'm just going to scale this out. Right. Uh, that should be fine. I'm just going to go to the top view right now. And I'm going to go to my shapes tab. And I'm going to go to text. And I'm just going to do LZR. Okay. So I'm just going to click here. I'm going to make it a little... Right about that. Uh, make it a little smaller. Okay. And you can choose your text. And the kerning you can... Make it spread or whatever. Alright, so now I'm going to go to my modifiers tab up here just to make it 3D. And now I'm going to go to drop down bar, go to bevel. And I already have my settings. As you can see, it's 3D. So I'm just going to keep it like that. I'm going to make it a little bit taller. That'll be fun. That's actually pretty big. Whatever. So now we click this button right here. You can, you can tell it's 3D. So, and now we're going to start the text explosion. So we're going to click create and go to geometry and go to geometries right here. Go to this drop down bar. Go to particle systems. Go to puree or puree, whatever you want to call it. And just make draw a box and uh, now just move it so it'll be on your text and I'm going to go to the modifiers tab and at the very top it'll say pick object so I'm going to pick my text and now I'm going to go to the very bottom and I'm going to click um, this will be like this you're going to click load and save presets so I'm going to click blast and click load and now I'm going to open, uh, yours will probably look like this. Uh, you're going to click particle generations here. And the start is probably, we'll just do 150. That sounds not bad right now. And then we're going to do display until 250. That's fine. As you can see, once it hits 150, it'll explode. And now we're going to click M on our keyboard. already have something made, whatever. You can just do regular colors. So you're going to want to change the color of your puree. Exit out of that. And so now I'm just going to go and click Auto Key. And create a key key there. And then a uh, key there. And and then here we're gonna uh, you're gonna right click and you're gonna gonna go to object properties. Wait, hold on, guys. Hold on, you you want to change this keyframe one frame over, so no. Go to object properties. Okay, now I'm on my text, so I'm just gonna change this to zero. All right. As you can see, you don't really want it like fading like that, so you want to just move this to right about there. So it'll go like that, and then once it hits there, it's going to explode. So as you can see, right there, I'm just going to show you that rendering. And that's it. You can, I'm going to zoom in, maybe that'll look a little better. Yeah, that looks good. Now to the rendering. So you'll see this thing right here. If you go to rendering or whatever, you can go to render setup, click F10, and now you can just go to uh, range, 
and just go to I'm just gonna go to 250 since that's where our explosion stops and then we're gonna go to output size HDTV and 1280 by 720 and go to render output and go to save file and click files and wait for this to load up and I'm just gonna save it to my desktop so uh, this is the one part where my 3ds max goes slow okay, go to my desktop and then I'm just gonna save it as tutorial oh. let's do tut whatever and then you can go to all formats and go to AVI file uh, that's probably the best to save it as and click save and just wait for a second because then the setup is gonna pop up and as while we're waiting here if you like this tutorial, my link should be in the description. Or if I'm, po if I'm posting it on any other channels, my link should be in the description. If it's just going on mine, just remember to subscribe to me, guys. And comment and rate. It'll really help me out. And, yeah, that's about it. So, uh, we're waiting for it. This takes really... S it shouldn't really go like this slow. And, um, I will also be doing 3DS Max, um, requests, so just hit me up with any requests, and if it gets enough, like, if people want to see it, I'll make it. Uh, okay, this is going really slow right now. And, um, just saying right now while we're waiting for this, okay, finally. Um, you're going to want to see the drop down bar, you're going to click Cinepac Codec by Radius. You should have that. And make sh it might be at 75, probably. And just drag the quality up to 100 and click OK. And basically now you're done and you just click Render. Oh wait, my bad guys. Make sure make sure that you pick the the view you want to render it. So I'm just gonna click here and and here it goes guys. And that's about it. And um and remember to subscribe to me and I'll be posting a lot of tutorials on my new page that me and a couple friends created called Zone Cinema. I'll have that link in the description. Also, you can head over there. I'll probably be posting all my mostly my all mostly all my tutorials on there. So that's it, guys. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.